How's it going, lads? Not sure if I can hear again. There's that Egypt Massey Ferguson with his big bag of rubbish. Those pesky witches that Massey rents the cave to still won't let us use the front door like normal people. My book is spells. <laughs> That's very funny now, because look what I have here now. I have got the book of spells. Huh? Ah, yep. What can you do with that stuff? Well, it says, yeah, this chapter now has got scratch and sniff. Mm. Right, so. <laughs> good old fashioned slurry. Mm. Don't mind your good old fashioned slurry. 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 Delicious, I'm sure. I'll try one now. Hawkers, pork. Now, I never mind your spells. Look at the tight, high smell, you know. Now, now. Sniff that, you want to sniff, push sniff. There we go. Huh? Oh no, bad news. Here come the witches. Sorry. How are you? You're fucking mm. Have you been in the sun? Have you been away or something? Some You're all looking beautiful. Be quiet, be careful. Here comes Massey now with that smelly bag of scrubbage. I suppose the witches will try to make art out of it as no, usual. I recognise the sound of the tractor that dumped this lot. I tell you that now, I, I, I could tell a tractor ten miles off who dumped it down the hole. Here, look. Now, look at it. I found a hole puncher. I found some stripy crap paper. And I found some card. <laughs> I know what we'll do. Let's make some books. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine making a book or that stupid stuff. Nobody will read it anywhere. Uh oh, not again. What the? Great, how are you? Not too bad. Come here, is that some kind of book or something? It is. It's a book made by an artist, and every page on it is a painting. Oh, show us another, show us another page, so. Look at them. They're fantastic. Each one has a different colour. Oh, we. Oui. It's amazing. A painting on every single different page. It's like an explosion of colour, isn't it? It's an explosion of something, all right. Come here, uh, who did it? It's done by Aoife Desmond. Aoife and, Desmond? Yeah, she was an art student at the Crawford here in Cork. Cool. And when she graduated, this was in her degree show. Oh, cool. So, um, what kind of paint did she use? Is it acrylic or oils or what do you reckon? It's really like what you call mixed media and there's a lot of wax as well. So I think she's used watercolour and acrylic and then wax in some cases. Yeah. I mean, some of the pages, you see, they're, they're stuck together. They're stuck together. They're difficult to open. Why would she use wax? On the paintings, do you well, think? Artists have been using wax for 5,000 years. It's a very good medium for binding paintings. You'll find Egypt ancient Egyptian artists used wax. Cool. And what do you think she's trying to say in the book of paintings? Well, the very first page here, it says, let the journey begin. And so I think she's made the book to be like a journey. So, Auntie, and you're going to show us how to make books, is it? Yeah. Yeah. I cut these bits of card out already. Now, you could use cardboard if you want. What would be too thin would be um, cereal boxes. Oh, so this is actually from a shop. 
You can cut them in any shape you want. Really? And big right? and small. Yeah, so I cut three different shapes. I've cut Point. this bit out here as well. Look, Point. these two. Okay. What like are these this. For? It's so that you can bend your book open, right? Also like that. Like the so they're the same it. size. Now, the first thing we're going to do is put masking tape here, but leave a bit of space mm -hmm. between the big rectangle and the small rectangle. Like. Or square. For bending, is it? Yeah. Okay. So could you use a shoebox? I know a shoebox. Yeah, a shoebox mm. would be perfect. Right. Do you need to go around the back as well? Look, we'll yeah. more here. Couldn't you make your book round if you wanted to, or a different shape other than square? You can do books any shape, yeah. Mm. Square is easier, you know, to start off with. Yeah. And then when you get better at it, you could do a circle. Or yeah. a triangle, even. Wouldn't that be interesting? So you could make a round book and call it Mossy's Belly Book. Mm -hmm. So it just spins then? Yeah, did you do it on both sides? Yes. And Close. the same then with the other cover. So the masking tape acts like a kind of a hinge. Exactly. Like a door hinge. Remember that cave within the cave I told you about? Those mad little fellas that live below are still at their bizarre shenanigans. Ah, gentlemen. Time to refresh your memories. Have you two ever heard of the book of the frozen fish, <laughs> one of the six books of the spooky triad. <laughs> it is essential for cockroach mind travel. Bring it to me. <laughs> Remember the book. Remember the book. Mossy, would you get us some paper, please? What? Just some white paper. White paper? Where am yes. I going to find white paper in a day? Mossy, like there's white paper over down there, la. Uh, down over there. We need it for the pages of the book. <laughs> no, so at the moment right? now, I you're cut... only making the covers, is that right? That's I've right. Yeah. She, our Mitzi's doing hers a bit different. I'm white. cutting my corners She's... like that, right? Still on the covers. You're folding like yours in. <coughs> and then I'm going to fold it in. Oh, yeah, good idea. Oh, yeah, and I'm cutting around the shape of mine. So I want the inside to be white. So you still haven't yeah. binded the two covers together? No. no. We'll do that. We'll do that now in a minute. When you get your paper, do you have to do you have to punch holes in the paper as well? You do. For the binding, yeah. then, yeah. then you bind or them you all could together. Just stick your scissors into the hole and move it. All around. right. Or a pencil with a point on it. Yeah, all right, Matt. <laughs> Much better now. Now, see, look, I'm <laughs> going to cut my pages a little bit smaller than my book. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Just so that they fit in right. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you, well, you could have them the same size, but you wouldn't want to. <sighs> well, just because it'd be nice if they weren't sticking out from underneath the cover, you see. Yeah. All oh, right. You're thinking that why it took so long to make the Book of Kells, because they made it like this, sure. Guess how many cows they skin to make the Book of Kells, Jim? <laughs> hmm? It's all calligraphy, wasn't it? Is that what they call the writing? Hmm. They use all kind of, there's all kind of yeah, drawings of creatures at the start. Yeah. Like if they were going to say, and I walk down, the, the A in and would be a big, lovely, coloured drawing. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So it'd probably take them as long to write the first letter as it would write to a whole page. I'd say so. But should they load the time anyway, them days? You're Not the like today. No televisions back then. No. I'm yeah. going to use some some of this rope to bind mine with. You can use anything really, can't you? Could you use wool and stuff as well? Yeah. And then... Or you could, could you? use wire if you wanted. Wool wire, string, boot laces. Yeah, a boot lace is behind you too because they have a point at the end. And you know as well, you could go to... Um, you could go to an office shop and they'd nearly bind it for you with the ring bind. Oh, yeah, it yeah, yeah. a few euro. Punch holes in all the white paper as well to match up with the holes on the, your cover. Now I'm going to punch half of my pages first. All right. 
That's a good idea, no, except the only problem there is the holes might not match up They might not match up, no, but I'm going to hope that they do. Yeah. You, you could use before. less pages. Mm. Oh, yeah. And you could use your pencil. To punch through? Yeah, cool. a point of pencil. Cool. There you go. Thank you. Look at the lovely feathers on Mitzi's lovely. book. Gorgeous. Did you get that in the charity shop as well, Edva? I did. I so you have a good look when you go in there and you have to go through all the clothes and then you'll find something that you like. Mm, I'd say they went to the zoo and skinned a leopard. I'd say by the look of <laughs> that one. Hmm? <laughs> The poor leopard now is going around with no clothes. A bit He's like lepping around home. the place. <laughs> Never mind them witches now, I'll teach you about real art. Right. So, here, a question. Fat is binding. Is it putting a load of old porridge in your belly? Mm, or is it of a way of joining pages together when you're making a book? It is. Binding. No two ways about binding. it. I can't be corrected. Binding. Putting binding. porridge in your belly. It's a way of joining pages together when you're making a book. Mm. 